In this video, we'll be walking through the steps of setting up a new location and also a geofence. So once you've logged in from web.loadtrek.net, you want to select the Setup tab. From here, we'll select the Locations tab here to your left. Then once in Locations, we'll select New Locations here at the bottom. We'll go ahead and enter in our location name. and our address for this location. And we'll select the geocode button. That will auto-populate our latitude and longitude and also populate uh, the details of this location within the map here. So I'll go ahead to the right and select here at the bottom the street address for this location and we'll bring the radius in for this location in just a tad bit. We'll select the correct time zone and we can verify that by zooming in just a tad bit to see where exactly we are. We have now the map view but we also have an option to view it by satellite. We'll go ahead and save this location. So we've verified our address. Uh, we've selected the geocode button and the correct time zone for this location. So here we have our new location. Now we'll move right on to setting up a geofence. So here to the right is the Create Geofence button. I'll go ahead and select it. Geofence name is already populated for us. We'll enable the speed limit and enter that in. Group will be our group, company group, company name. And location will um, auto populate. And for this geofence, I'm going to select here from our options an entry and exit alert. So here you can move this geofence around just by simply selecting the points to bring it in just a little closer. If you need additional points, you just do a single click and that will create a new point. So I'm going to bring that in just a little tighter. Okay, and we have created our geofence. So we'll select Save. We can verify that here in the next tab, which is, which is the Geofence tab. We see we have a Geofence set up for this latitude and longitude. To make any edits, you'll just select double clicking and you can move that Geofence around. We'll select Save. So we have created our new location and Geofence.